What is the key driver of the Indian government's rethinking of the future of postal services? We are the world's largest postal network. We have 155,000 post offices and half a million people employed in this department. Uh, and I think now time has come for us to not just re-energize, rethink, but also re-implement some of the policies that we made. Uh, we're going to spend about one billion US dollars in the next five years to integrate all of these post offices with uh, electronic network, <coughs> core banking systems. Uh, we are going to start uh, giving financial services. We already insure a lot of people. We have 260 million savings bank accounts in the post offices. So there is a huge effort from the government side to <coughs> make sure that these post offices become the hub of activity, both social and economic, so that people who have had no access to banking facilities or financial services then are able to participate in India's uh, growth and economic uh, trajectory that is looking uh, northwards. India has the world's largest physical network of post offices, as, mm. as you've mentioned. But could you please expand on how they will apply this less is more approach that you are advocating? Well, in the whole of our country, of 1.2 billion people, we have about 90,000 bank branches. Clearly, that is not sufficient for all of our citizens to get access to credit and to banking services. Therefore, these 150,000 post offices can, can play a pivotal role in, in really helping people move into the inclusion area. When I say inclusion, I mean social inclusion, economic inclusion, uh, and we can't do that without technology. Mm -hmm. We have the benefit of uh, a good IT resource within our country, young people, talented people. So their skill sets will bring about a revolutionary change and the postal network will then be the, the uh, cornerstone of these technologies being uh, able to distribute the goods of the growth story that we've ex experienced in the last 10 years. And I have no doubt in my mind that with the government's effort, with the citizens' participation, with the support of the UPU, we'll be able to deliver all of these promises to our people. And one final question. How do you use postal services? Times have changed. So um, where I live in the capital, in New Delhi, we have the uh, postal uh, network and post offices uh, almost almost everywhere in the city. But now we are giving uh, railway tickets. We do bookings through uh, post offices. We're selling gold coins. Uh, we do books. Uh, you know, We do electronic money transfer. We do uh, uh, e-posts. We do instant money orders. We do reimbursement remittances. Billions of $64 billion were coming into our country from people working abroad. So the Department of Post plays a role in doing that. And we're trying to make sure that people who are the real beneficiaries feel proud when they walk into a post office in India. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.